Hey everyone, welcome to That's Cakeable, I'm Janine and this week I wanted to get onto a cake trend train. No, I'm not talking about fault line cakes, I know they're all the rage right now, I'll try one of them another time. I'm talking about the llama cake. So the last huge craze that was around was the unicorn cake and I think it took me a good 18 months before I got on board and finally made one. So this time I thought I'd take it upon myself and just give my version of the llama cake a go. I got to try one or two new techniques making this cake which I always enjoy and I found that it was very very simple yet really really effective. I hope you enjoy this week's video. So to make this cake, I used a six inch coconut cake filled with a teal coloured vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream. I then went ahead and gave it a crumb coat all over. And you may notice I didn't use the top and baseboard method, I only have a baseboard on. I thought I'd try something new. Once it was crumb coated, I went ahead and chilled it for a while and then wanted to give the upside down method a go. So I have a large cake board that I'm covering in some vegetable shortening. Then on top of that, I'm putting a bit of baking paper the vegetable shortening stops the baking paper moving. And then I'm putting a big, generous dollop of ganache onto that baking paper. Now, because my cake's chilled, it's easy to handle, so I flip it over and pop it on top of that ganache. Now, using my level, I can manipulate the cake a little bit, back and forth, into that ganache until it's level. I took the ganache that was overhanging at the base of the cake and I just pulled it up onto the cake and went ahead and ganached my cake as usual. Now the idea about this is you're supposed to get nice straight sides and a level top. I think where I went wrong was that the baseboard I was using for my cake was not wide enough which meant I was angling my scraper slightly. I could already tell it wasn't right. Okay, so to remove the board from what is now the top of the cake, I just gently lifted that off and gently peeled the paper off. And I could tell with my eye looking at it, the sides were not straight. It was slightly in and out. See, not enough ganache in the top. Not so good. However, Ka-ching! The top was perfectly level, which always makes me happy. So I just went back in and filled in the side areas to make sure they were nice and straight and lined up. I will give it another go uh, with a larger board this time on the base. Then I went ahead and I covered my cake in some vegetable shortening and covered it in a piece of pure white fondant. Went ahead, smoothed it out, sharpened those edges, cut off the excess all ready to decorate. Now, this method was fun. I wanted her to look a little bit furry. So I've used some white royal icing and just coated her in that. And then I took a clean, brand new scourer sponge. I'd recommend not using blue. I got blue lint everywhere. And just tapped into that royal icing. I gotta admit, I love the finish effect. I'll be using that again for sure. Okay, now to make her face, I used a combo of 50-50 modeling chocolate and fondant in an ivory sort of color. I've made a template of her face and I just scribed around that with my modeling tool onto the modeling chocolate fondant mix. And then cut around that with my X-Acto blade. Once I'd finished cutting around it, I just smoothed out the edges slightly so they weren't quite as harsh when they went on the cake. To attach the face to the cake, I just covered it with a thin coat of royal icing. Smoothed it on and voila. Okay, I used the template again, I just matched it up against the face to mark out where the eyes and the nose was. And for the little mm, muzzle area, I used a piece of modelling chocolate that I'd made into a teardrop shape, flattened down slightly attach that with some royal icing and then use some toothpicks to secure it there while it dried. 
I took my bowling tool and just indented where the eyes are going. And then I took my sugar shaper and made the little line down the center of the nose and a little smiley face. I took two pieces of black fondant rolled into balls for the eyes, a little piece of brown fondant made into a little puffy heart for the nose, and then I took some pink petal dust and gave her some rosy cheeks just to finish her off. Now to attach the hair, I just used some more royal icing, just right along the top of her head and the very edge of the top of the cake. And then I've taken some white pieces of fondant, rolled into teardrop shapes and flattened down, and just popped those on the edge of her face at the top. All sort of random sizes. Then I've cut off the excess with a sharp paring knife. Now I'm adding a little bit more royal icing and then some sort of semi-circle shaped pieces of fondant on the top, one slightly larger and one slightly smaller. And they are going to be acting as basically as supports for the rest of her hair. I've taken other small pieces of teardrop shaped fondant in white and just popped that along the hairline. All sort of sporadic, sporadic sizes and you know, make it a bit more organic looking. Not that anybody, even llamas, have hair that look like that. I took my veining tool and just ran it along the hairline between where the fringe and I guess the little mohawk meet. Now to make her ears, I took a piece of white fondant uh, quite a large piece and I rolled it into a snake that I tapered at both ends. Make sure that you have enough because as you can see I'm cutting it in half so it has to make two ears. I just used the side of my hand to indent the fondant and then popped a couple of skewers into the centre of each of those ears. As you can see my camera's out of focus so you can't see me putting it in more. Clearly you want to see my jump out because that's way more exciting. I just popped those ears into her head and then manipulated them slightly because I wanted to give them a bit of movement. I took some more of the same pink petal dust I'd use for her cheeks and just coloured inside the ears. Now of course we have to make the ears furry as well so I went ahead and used the same technique that I'd done for the rest of the cake. And then I went ahead and I did the same thing for the hair. I just love how that looks. Finishing touch, she needs a flower wreath for her hair, so I decided to make some very basic ribbon roses. I've taken a snake of fondant and then rolled that out flat with my rolling pin. I then took my pizza wheel and cut one side so it was flat. Started rolling that in on itself and then just sort of pinch and push, lift out, pinch and push, lift out, pinch and push and sort of let it all adhere to each other by itself basically. Fondant adhering to fondant on its own because you're squashing it. Go ahead and do that until you've got the size you like and I did that a few times with a few different colours. Then I added a couple of little ribbons on the side between the hair and the ears that I attached with a bit of royal icing. Using royal icing once again to attach those ribbon roses. And that was it. How easy is that? And she was so easy, yet so effective. And I was thinking you could do like a farmer llama. You could put a farm hat on her. Or you could do a good karma llama. You could put like a tie-dye scarf in her hair. Or a pyjama llama and she could be wearing a nightcap. You know, the possibilities are endless. 
Well guys, that's it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed my llama cake video. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell below to make sure that you're notified every time I upload new content. Well, just another adorable family member to welcome to my collection of animal cakes. If you'd like to see some of my other animal cakes, just click the playlist here and it will take you right there. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me again. I look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meantime, this one's easy. So go and get your cake on. Bye.